What's going on? Welcome to Tech with Sean, and today I'm going to show you how to put another SSD inside your Asus Zephyrus M15. Now as far as I know, all of these M15 models are going to come with one NVMe SSD pre-installed. The slot that it's in is capable of taking a SATA or NVMe drive, and then the empty slot can only take NVMe. So if you have an NVMe drive like most of them are these days, you can just pop it into the empty slot no problem. But if you have a SATA drive for whatever reason, you're going to need to move the existing drive to the empty slot and then put the SATA drive into the first slot. If you want the best performance, you want to put in maybe an expensive Samsung drive or something with TLC memory and a nice DRAM cache. But if you just want more game storage, one of the cheaper QLC drives is totally fine. I'll put some affiliate links to compatible SSDs in the video description, so make sure to check those out. And if you use those, it helps out the channel, so thank you. Today I'm just putting in a SanDisk Ultra M2 3D SSD because it's the one that I could find the best deal on around here. You're just going to want to make sure that you have a traditional standard um, M2 size drive. If you have like a shorter drive, that's going to give you problems. And unfortunately, you can't put one of the two and a half inch SATA style SSDs inside this machine at all. The process for getting in there and upgrading this is pretty straightforward and that's a good thing. So thank you Asus. Um, luckily on the back of this thing, there's just some Phillips screws and then we're going to pry around the edge and lift it up and it pops right off. So. Let's cut to a montage of me doing that. Okay, here we are inside the machine, and basically you're just going to take the new drive and clip it into the slot kind of at an angle, and then we're going to push it down and secure it in with the screw. After that, it's basically done, and we just have to reverse the process of putting the back on, pushing it down into place to clip the clips back in, and then putting the screws back in. One quirky thing about this process is that there are different lengths of screws for the different holes. So I'll try to put a visual up on screen right now that shows which holes take the shorter screws and which ones the long ones go in. After that, the process is pretty much done. If this is a brand new SSD, you may need to open up Windows Disk Management and initialize the drive before you're able to create a partition and start using it in Windows. Well, I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my other content, and I'll see you in the next video.